Traffic is once again moving on I-10 in West El Paso. The eastbound lanes were closed overnight for nine hours after a man was hit by several vehicles. It happened just after 10 o'clock last night near Porfirio Diaz. The ABC7 text on traffic cameras show all lanes are open. An ABC7 employee says it took more than an hour to get from Executive Center to Schuster Avenue where traffic was forced off the highway. Tonight, ABC7 looks at the extent of the investigation and why the eastbound lanes didn't reopen until about 7 o'clock this morning. For that, we go to ABC7 reporter Darren Hunt in West El Paso, just feet from where the man was killed. Darren is live with what he's learned today. Rick and Estelle, the bottom line is if someone dies on the freeway, police say it's always going to take quite a while to properly investigate before these lanes are reopened. It's going to be an inconvenience. We know that. We realize that. El Paso Police Spokesman Enrique Carrillo explained why police take so long to reopen the freeway after a fatal accident. It's a crime scene. Potentially, it could be a homicide investigation. Regardless, we're still investigating the death of an individual. It's time-consuming. It's a painstaking process. It's very methodical. And in this case, um, the scene is very, very large scene. And a very unpleasant scene. An ABC7 viewer posted this on our Facebook page after witnessing the aftermath on the way home from Thursday's Chihuahua's Gate. We saw everything. My family is traumatized. It was as if we were in a bad nightmare. Police assured me that they work with great urgency at fatal accident scenes like this, but getting the freeway back open is not their number one priority. However urgent it is, uh, the main priority is to conduct a, a thorough an accurate investigation. Police say their first step is to provide medical attention. They then block entrance ramps and special traffic investigators are called to the scene to make a computer-aided diagram, which involves taking video, pictures, and measurements of every vehicle, lane, and skid mark. Once the investigation is completed and everything rechecked, they reopen the freeway. We're not going to rush the process. To rush it is, is, is uh, asking for, for errors. Now I asked if, if police purposely wait for sunrise to reopen the freeway so they can view the scene better after uh, a nighttime fatality. Now Carrillo told me that's not their policy and some investigators are completed. It investigations are completed in darkness, although it's easier to survey the complete scene, of course, during daylight. Rick and Estelle. It's just tragic. Darren Hunt, live in West El Paso tonight. Thank you.